guys, it's Darcy Lacouvet reporting live from CES 2013. We're here with one of our favorite. It is none other than NVIDIA, who debuted the Tegra 4 and Project Shield. So we're really excited. We're speaking here with Mithun. He's the technical marketing manager at NVIDIA, and he's going to give us a breakdown of what we're to expect from NVIDIA in 2013. Hey guys, uh, nice to have you guys here. Really excited about Tegra 4 and Shield. I'm sure you all are like, Ooh, Shield, Shield, Shield. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, again, Tegra 4, so that's like our next big thing. Yeah. Um, quad A15s, a um, 72 core GPU. Wow. Um, really impressive features such as computational photography, with, yeah. like, awesome real time HDR. Uh, we can drive 4K. I know, I saw quad that. Quad really impressive. Yeah. It's really impressive. And uh, again, to give you a quick demo. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, as you can see, it, 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 I mean, it's like console wow. quality, uh, textures, wow, smooth uh, too. geometry, uh, very high polygon count. Yeah, really high. Uh, uh, very interesting shader effect, physics. So um, again, with, at NVIDIA with Tegra, it's all about trying to push the boundary. And um, in case of Bloodsword, we are just trying to make sure that the end user experience is nothing but awesome. Really impressive. Yeah, again. It's definitely console quality. Right, and it, it's 1080p. Yeah, 1080p what as you're well. seeing on the screen is actually 1080p. Wow. So fluid frame rates, amazing effects, you know, great shadow, shaders. So it's all about bringing the ultimate experience to the end user. Truly, really, yeah. So again, and kind of this works up to Shield. Mm -hmm. So which brings a lot more of this awesomeness and goodness. Absolutely. So as you already may know, the Shield is basically NVIDIA's open mobile gaming platform. Yeah. So to put it in another word, it's running stock Jelly Bean Android. Okay, so 4.2 out of the box? 4.2.1 out of the box, right as of today. Yeah. You know, so no overlays, nothing, it's stock with nice. Because of that, you have full access to the Play Store. Yeah. All the Google apps. Yep, yep. All the games that you've downloaded on your all the Tegra Zone games that are yep. downloaded on your Nexus 7, yep, your HTC yep. One X, will work out of the box. Awesome stuff. Everything works out of the box. So and when, when do you think it's going to come to market? So, as of today, we're saying it's Q2. Q2, and yes. what's the price point? We haven't announced the price point. 299, yet. 199. We haven't really 99. announced the price point yet. Okay, in terms of going from Tegra 2 to Tegra 3, how much of a jump of performance are we talking about there? Tegra 3 to Tegra 4? No, no, Tegra 2 to Tegra 3. So Tegra 2 this is about to Tegra four Tegra times, 3, right? Approximately. And yes. Tegra 3 to Tegra 4? So Tegra 3 to Tegra 4, the GPU itself is about six times. Six times powerful. Because Tegra 3 has 12 GPU cores, yeah. and Tegra 4 is 72. So six time increase. Yes. And, and also we're A talking about ARM 50, A15 as well, yes. which is so, a lot more powerful. Yep, so A quad A9s to quad a 15 Big deal. Uh, it's pretty massive. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty big awesome. deal. Yeah. And it's 28 nanometer. Yeah. With the battery saver core. So you exactly. get all that awesome performance yeah. for much, much lower power. Okay, really, so really it's good. Extremely competitive. And we have the ICER I500. Yeah. Well, of course, because the acquisition. And then you reduce the footprint on that by 40% too, which is yep. great. LTE yep. is going to be the connectivity standard of the world. Exactly. So, is it overkill for a smartphone, Tegra 4? Are there going to be dual core variants or anything that's a little bit less, you know, <laughs> you know, powerful? <laughs> I mean, when Tegra 2 came out, people were like, do you really need a dual core? Yeah. When Tegra 3 came out, do you really need quad core? Oh, yeah, so you the do. answer is no. You no. know, with every month, every week, every year, what users expect out of your smartphone on tablet? Yeah, it's only increasing, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. There was a time when all you used to use your phone was yeah. texting and making phone calls, mm -hmm. then email, then surfing the net, then Netflix, then navigation, and now you basically have like a full-fledged gaming yeah. device Absolutely. in your pocket. Mm -hmm. So the answer is no. no. Tegra 4 is in fact perfect for a smartphone and a okay. tablet. Fascinating stuff. Well, we're really excited to see. Really excited to have you guys here. When do you think we can find uh, some Tegra 4 devices in the wild? So Obviously, you've been speaking with you know your partners and everything. I know NVIDIA has, works with a lot of companies. Sure, definitely. So we haven't made any concrete announcements yet, yeah, but you should be expecting stuff in the short term. Not gonna be like last year, right? <laughs> We're I mean, counting on you. You'll, you'll get. You'll, okay. you'll, you'll have. The, we have some really exciting announcements to make. Again, okay. Shield came out of Shield's the blue. Shield's a big deal, and everyone was like, "Whoa!" It's a big deal. So yeah. And on our numbers and stuff, the demand we're seeing is huge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so you should stay tuned for a lot more exciting announcements from NVIDIA and Tegra 4. Can you give us any rumors or anything cool? Unfortunately, no. Oh, okay. That's okay. Well, just want to say we thanks. Maybe one really cool thing. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. So, that's yeah. not bad. We're also going to hopefully get a hands-on with Project Shield here pretty soon. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And Star Slack Uve, Android Authority here with NVIDIA. Thank you very much for your time, Thank sir. You, sir. Thank okay. you. Peace, guys.
enough of that. <laughs>